Okay, can you all pay attention here? While I go through, underline the word, and then write in, write in, write in pencil whatsoever regarding what the essay is all about. Now, again, as I mentioned earlier, <coughs> essay writing, as you go through your form, 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 form you're going to learn <coughs> different types. Some of it is going to be covered by your teacher, some of it. And most of the time, when I ask the students, many of the different type of essays are not being taught. Only your teachers know well. And today you come and tell me some of you don't even have essays to write. Adelaide, no essays. Vincent, how many essays have you, your English teacher have given you in class? Still thinking, my children still go to school. Zero. Zero? Zero? No? One. What is the name of the essay? Wow, so difficult, no? So many essays, the one I forget. Oh. My family. My family. This one? Your family. Yeah. Oh. Wow. Do you all go to school? Uh? Yes. One essay he cannot remember. I teach almost about 20, 30, 40 essays over the last few months. My, uh, celebration. Celebration. My goodness. Alright. I will try my very best to give you different type. Some of it you will not be putting it into your PD train. Once you hit form 4, form 5, you will understand why I said that writing will be determined whether you understand or able to put words into writing. Alright, let's look at what we have here. Now, last Tuesday we covered about the speech. Alright, and uh, this morning when I came in here, I was wondering whether I should ask you for your ideas and I know we're going to spend one and a half hours trying to find it out here. Okay, so today anyway, you copy what I've just written and you have already copied, spending so much time with it. And this is a speech. So in most speeches, the format, make sure you have the greeting. You got it? If you don't start your story with the greeting, that is what we call the wrong format. Alright, so let's look on the speech on how to improve your English. And every time essay writing, I don't care whether it's in Bahasa, I don't care whether it's in Chinese, make sure you have a title. The only time you don't have a title when you go to Form 4, they will give you a sentence, the beginning of a story, or they give the last line of the story. Okay? Don't worry, I will not teach you that. So, speeches there, format important, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever it is. In English, Writing, we never start the word with good night. Okay? Good night means I go to sleep. Alright? And if you notice in Bahasa Melayu now, most of the greetings are done in Selamat Pagi, Selamat Tengah Hari, Selamat Petang, and sometimes even on TV, Selamat Malam. Mm -hmm. My goodness. And today all this is missing, you know why? Don't know. Even my neighbor, the kids come in, they don't say, Hello, Selamat Petang. What's Allah, my God? Oh, my God, what's Allah? Oh, it's hell, Kian, what? Yeah. So, how about like that? Go in here. What's Allah, my God? 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 Banyak, banyak, benda ni. Never watch, never listen. Alright, let's go through. So here what I have is your class teacher. And because this is an English essay, so Miss Chong, those will be one CP, J, whatever it is. I think most of the teachers in your school are one, isn't it? Correct me if I'm wrong. Most of them. Because the Malays like to get married young. Okay? Alright, so here we go. Good morning to Miss Chong, our class teacher and my fellow students. Very straightforward. And as I mentioned the other day, if you do not know how to use the opening, use it in what they ask you. It's all from there to make your, your, your writing a little bit easier. You got it? Don't sit down there and crack my head. Hey, how to do introduction now? How to start? The starting is what they tell you. And this is exactly cut and paste if you like. As the president of the English Language Society, I have been asked by the advisor to give a talk entitled How to Improve Your English to the Members of the Society. 
First and foremost, another good way to start. Okay, let me begin. Another way to start. Okay, because you are talking. A speech is you are talking to your audience. You got it? Alright, so make it in a way informal. Alright, you don't have to say that first and foremost, whatever it is. Alright, so first and foremost, let me describe some reading materials to improve your English. This is point number one inside your paper. Can you see it? Abby, I just give it to you. It's all there. Okay, for those who were, were here on Thursday, or oh, sorry, on Tuesday. Right? Let me describe some reading materials to improve your English. Reading is the key to broaden our knowledge, and some of these materials that can help us do that are novels, magazines, storybooks, and encyclopedia. Do you know what are novels? You all have novels as a literature, right? Novel. Okay, yeah, in, in Malay, you know well and whatever well, okay, it's novels. Encyclopedias are things like that. Alright? It can be animals, it can be the human body, and all these, if you walk into the bookstore, especially popular bookstores, I urge you all start walking into bookstores because you are students. Your mother takes you to Tesco, take you to Yon. Take time to walk into popular. You don't want to buy anything, browse your eyes. And these are all things to help you. Okay, all these are available. An encyclopedia. Alright, you have pictures here. It tells you all about China, history of China, sejarah, if you like to call it that. Alright, and you are as Chinese, I think none of you even know your own story about China. So these are encyclopedias. And if you go into most of these bookshops or whatever, they, they sell it. Alright, human body, and then uh, you know the Guinness Book of Record. Then you have the Malaysian books and record. Malaysia books and record, the longest day, tarik, the roti canai, and whatever it is. Uh, Malaysia bowling, all the simple things. Uh, they didn't put the longest hair, and whatever the thing is. Alright? You know what is the Guinness Book of Records? My goodness. God help me. So, please, don't only go to school, learn, and finish it. When your parents take you out for a movie, whether you go to shopping or whatever, Take some time, walk into the bookstore, flip through. At least you know what this is. Alright? If you don't want to see it in English, they're also Chinese, right? Okay? So all these ma magazines, periodicals, or whatever. Now, I did not mention many things about here because you have three points in here. And I'm trying to keep your essay on one page. And I think it's only one page, right? Okay? Now, however, many of us shun reading. The word shun here is not a wrong spelling, it's not shut. Many of us shun reading these citing reasons of time constraints. And above all, the lack of interest in reading. Isn't that all about you? Isn't that all about those people who come from my classes? Just don't read. So what I have mentioned over here, many of us shun reading. The word shun means do not want to read. Okay? The word shun also can be say frightened of reading. Okay? So that's the word here. Citing reasons, giving reasons. No time, uh, Uncle Lee. So much homework in the house. Play computer games, not time. Alright? As I said, habits are very hard to break. You've got to change. And you are young, you can change fast. Next. This is what by time constraint meaning to say no time. Alright? A lot of homework. Uh, my mother take me here, take me there, I've got no time to read. Whatever. And above all, the lack of interest. And some of you just... What? Not, no interest in that. Very hard. I don't have the interest in reading, I don't want to do it. Let it be whether it's Hawaii, let it be whether it's Bahasa, let it be whether it's English. If you don't read, you don't have enough knowledge. Got it? Alright? However, if you really need to improve your English, then I would suggest that one of the effective ways is to browse, you know what the word, browse, okay? And read through the English newspaper, namely the Star English Daily. How many of your houses have got Chinese newspaper? Chung Kuo Pao, Nanyang Xiang Pao, Lo Pi Mai Pao, whatever the thing is. Alright? Do you pick up 
the paper? Sometimes. Yeah, sometimes. You better make sure if your mother buy all this, you are not going to read everything. Okay? I go through the Chinese newspaper, I can't understand the language, I look at the pictures. Why? Because a picture paints a thousand words. Right? Okay? And I like the Chinese newspaper because accident very common for one. Block the you know, English newspaper don't have that. Alright? And your newspaper, you know some of the Chinese newspapers are quite big, isn't it? Huh? Last time the Star Paper, the Straight Times and like that. You better start. Because in most schools we have started many years ago, they use the newspaper to teach. They started with your primary school. I even asked some of you, some classes, yes. Some of the teachers, I don't know why they don't use this. Because if I tell you honestly, teaching English, I use the newspaper, I can run you through your whole year using the newspaper. Okay? So if you have not started, very simple, you are not going to read every one of them because some of you don't like football. And suddenly you see pictures of these funny funny things down here. I'm sure you will be wondering, hey, why are all these kids are gonna ballo? Go to kindergarten, they cry a lot. And the Malay teachers, very simple, buy them up. Yeah, Huh? Like mommy, like a baby become mommy. You know, some mommy is there. Huh? See? All kinds of funny names. Again, here, you learn about vocabulary, sofa set, curtain, drape, crease. From here. Why make life so difficult? Alright? What else have you got? Hmm. Some of you fly. Do you know your rights before you fly? What happened if your plane didn't come? Go back lah. Do you know that the, the airline is supposed to give you a hotel room if the flight is delayed more than two hours? Do you know that? This one is not for Adeline. Adeline cannot see. This one for Esther and me. So the newspaper has so many different sections, different interests. You like eating, you like cooking, they have menu. Why have to go to the library? A newspaper is a rigid something. And today obviously you don't have to buy the newspaper because you have the internet. You got it? Okay? So I hope, ma, I hope you all make it try. Ma. I've been telling this for the last 10 years. Try. Even Chinese newspaper. And I always said that you want to improve your Bahasa, that's what Pompo Pompai students do. They read through the Bahasa newspaper. Like it or not, you have to sit for your exam. You got it? So be smart. Huh? Uncle Lee asked me to go to the library. Hey, what time? Huh? So the newspaper is one of the effective ways to improve your language. I didn't say English. It can be the Chinese newspaper, can be the Bahasa. So be smart. Last time I used to tell my, my students there, the Bongo Kompai students, I know they do it. I asked them to buy one Saturday newspaper for a month to ask them to go through. After two weeks, they have forgotten. And most of those top students that score without going for tuition, they don't have to come here, they don't have to go to any English tuition. They only rely on this. And these are the top scorers. How I know? I read. They were interviewed. Hey, how you get 11 is English A1? No? Very simple. My father told me, my teachers told me to go through the English newspaper. So I go through. And that was his homework. How much he spent? One ringgit only for the newspaper. How much you spent? <gasps> so be smart. Alright, in it one can find many articles via different sections. Again, as I said, you have section section two, talking about the cinema, the cartoons and whatever it is. Alright? Catering to different interests and topics because each one of you here have got different interests. Alright? What do you like? Mm, see? <laughs> what do you like? See I like Najib. You? What do you like? Oh, you're all zombies, are you? <laughs> you all don't have 
interest on that. Nothing ah. In your free time, I sit down there, I just stare. What's my interest? I don't know, I'm still thinking about it. Where you come from? Chunda. Chunda, I know yeah. Sektum, chung is like ah. Yo. Do you understand my question when I say what are your interests? What would you want to do in your free time? If suddenly no more homework for you to do, what do you do? Sleep. What do you like to do? Huh? Draw. You? 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 Huh? No wonder if the essay come out, hobby, make a zero then, nothing. Yes, come on, you have to have interest. You guys are not, my goodness. Even I ask the Kenny, what's your interest? Eat now, because now she's so wrong. Serious, are you guys? You mean my mom, what's the mom? Make him try. Jogging. Then you cannot answer me. Eh? You? You saw traveling eh? every weekend, eh? parents will take me. She's very, very fortunate. Her parents spend time to take her around so that you have so many ideas, so many things you see. But when it comes to writing, cannot write. Goodness me. Are you sure you're ever? Well, hard or not? Am I teaching robots? Huh? Yeah, I don't know. Apart from that, alright, so we have already mentioned the first section over there. Okay, describes certain things, so they are novels. My message here is you don't have to do that if you don't want time or you have no interest but read the newspapers. Pick out the things that you like. That's all. Okay? Number two, apart from that, music is another way to help improve the language. Mm, Adeline? The video is there. Mm, you are yawning like a hippopotamus. Okay, I can catch a lot of you yawning. So apart from that, music is another way to help improve the language. Again. You know about music because you play the keypad. Do you like music? What kind of music do you listen to? English music. What kind of English music do you listen to? Classical? Justin yeah. Bieber? What kind of music? I was still thinking. <laughs> What kind of music? Do you listen to music? What kind of music? China music. Chinese. <laughs> Who's your favorite Chinese singer? You know, many times, uh, I don't know why this generation, uh, even my own son, Aaron, I say, who's the singer? I don't know. The song, I know. You never even find out what's the singer. That's why when people ask me questions back in the 70s, 80s, I will tell you the song, I will even tell you the singer, I will tell you the words. 30 years song, I can remember the words. Because it follows a melody. Kangaroo? Yes. You like kangaroo song? What song do you like? English. What's, wow. Then I huh? One day I must run this essay on English. Yeah. So what kind of music? Music has different types. Classical means all the old ones, the piano, the orchestra, those are called classical. Then you have the pop. Michael Jackson is pop, king of pop. Whatever it is. Then you have the hip hop. And then you have the rap. Hey, what you doing, man? You better learn English. If not, I'm going to slap you, man. That is talking. Which I don't like rap. So you got to understand different different things there because if I tell you about music, hey, I didn't go to music school, I cannot read music. I use my ears. Even when I learn the guitar, I don't go for classes or whatever. I learn from my uncle. We learn today from YouTube. So many things there. What about you, my dear girl? English. What kind of music? Pop music. Any song that you can tell me your favorite singer? Bruno Mars. Wow. I like him, man. I dig him. Yeah, Bruno Mars is a fantastic singer. Just the way you are. Yes. See? Lao Lun also know about Bruno Mars. I tell you about Elvis Presley. Sui Lai Elvis Presley. I tell you about Tom Jones. Who is Cliff Richard? I 
talk about the Beatles. Huh? Beatles, man? <laughs> Beatles, man? So if you all can, whether you like Chinese or whatever, listen. Find out who's a singer. I love Chinese music. Teng Yi Ching. Mwah! Teng Yi Ching. Teng Yi Ching. Hey, hello. This is not a China affair, okay? I thought it's Teng Yi Ching, eh? There are these Teresa Teng, right? Yes. Okay, I can't pronounce the Chinese name. Teresa. Tan Lai Guan, they call it in Chinese. Until today, she's so famous. Every time during... What is up? Hmm. Classic man, more thing. I listen to her. If I open up my computer, you will get scared from the thousands of songs I downloaded. Luckily, YouTube. All right, I keep this, and because music, as what I mentioned here. It has been said music is a universal language, and I strongly agree to it. Why? Because when you talk to people and you listen to this song, if he likes music, if he doesn't like music, don't talk about music to him. Huh? Enjoy learning English through music, especially those who adore singing. All right. If you like singing Chinese song. Karaoke is there in your house or whatever on your computer smartphone to listen to the karaoke. Follow the words, and I tell you honestly, very very effectively. Yeah, if you enjoy music and you make it a point, even though you don't sing, you watch karaoke when the words come out, you learn English words. And I tell you honestly, my dad likes music. All right. So at a very young age, he likes movies. He likes music. It became part of me until today, almost about fifty-five years. I've learned to love music, and I listen to all kinds of music. All right, I even listen to Malay songs. One of the biggest Malay song that I like is Isabella. Have you heard about it? P. Ramli songs. Chinese one. Have you heard of Fei Yixing? Yes. Do you know Zhang Li? You don't know about Zhang Di. Yeah, okay, forget it. Not your kind. He's seventy years old already now. All right, and then you Wang Li Hou. I listen. Jay Chao. I listen. Jay Chao is a very good singer, lousy actor. I don't like the way he acts. Oh no. Good singer, very good pianist. Wang Li Hou can play the guitar, can play the violin. Wow. I wish I can turn back thirty years, then I will be not here lah. So you must have the interest here, and you build this up. Because music, as I said, if you understand, you love it. It's a universal language. All right, let me just finish it. So karaoke song have words, as you can see, that accompany them, and one can easily learn vocabulary and grammar. One of the song is called Congratulations. Can you spell Congratulations? <laughs> Congratulations and jubilation. Have you heard of the word jubilation? Have you heard about Cliff Richard? I think that during the holiday session, instead of just teaching your English, I'm going to teach your English through music. And at times, I want you all to listen to songs so that it becomes a habit, it becomes an interest, so that you can, you know, in your free time. You will enjoy and improve faster if you like it. So you know, all right. Okay. So I have covered music. Now, lastly, in this internet age, because it was mentioned about social media, so there are social media like Facebook, WhatsApp, and WeChat. Now, be careful here. Here, I said you should practice using English to communicate with your friends, but most importantly, avoid using short. Form and abbreviation. Do you understand when I say short form? Because I have today. Ah, you know, I have people. I have a video for you to see. That's abbreviation. All right, and most people use that to talk. You know, I can't do that because I'm teaching you English. 
even with my friends right now, we use law form, but it becomes a habit. I have to use law. Alright? If not, I will start teaching you. Spell for you to see, for you to see. Right? <laughs> Correct? Okay? So, please, uh, I think as students, avoid doing that. Why do you want to form? No. I don't think about why you want to form. Because there are I tell you, you know, all this one, L O N, no, all the pop, lah, 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 and then, what's the matter? Huh? What's the matter? Chinese school. Ah, correct. So that's what. Sometimes, ah, when my my WhatsApp group, ah, you know, all the old fathers, lah, lawyers, doctors, ah, and then someone tell a joke, they write there. Chinese. How old? Pinyin. T F L. So what? Then I think, think, think. It means what? Dictionary one the word. Then after I think, 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 it's a joke. They are laughing. So this must be laughing. Rolling on the floor, laughing. See, look, 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 look. Funny, huh? Huh? Right? And there's so many of it. Some of my friends are very good at this. Sometimes I have to see. Say, you know, what are they writing? Then I have to look at the whole, you know, what they are communicating. Then you understand the shock of the English. It says stun, I D K, I don't know, isn't it? Yeah, all these things here. So please, ah, as young people, students, avoid doing that. I think the Chinese one is good so far because you have only the words. You cannot break out one of the box. Yo ah, poor yo. Bahasa also has started like that. Ah, I seen some bahasa WhatsApp, WeChat, whatever, all broken up. Ah, selalu S L L or whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. Tell me about it. Alright, now the other thing here, short forms or abbreviation, abbreviation is like that for you to see. What is an abbreviation for Malaysian Airlines System? MAS. What is the Singapore International Airline? SIA. These are called abbreviation or acronyms. A C R O acronyms. Acronyms means you use the short form. Your name, Adeline, is what? Yong, 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 what? Yong Qingwen. Yong Qingwen. Jet. Okay. So when we write Y J W, these are not called acronyms. These are not called abbreviation. These are called initials. Write it down, please. When people ask you the initial of your name, that means like my name Lee Kok Shin, L K C. Oh. Yeah. Something right there, Lee Kok Shin. Did you write your own Chinese name? What challenge me? Ah, think I so stupid, ah. Wow, you can't go to Lee, so much for all. My, my Lee. Oh, the, you know, Hanti. Hanti, yeah. That's what I learned in standard one, in watching. Ah, so now, what the number three come out first? Oh, the first. Yeah, lah, you all learn from me. Chat, 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 chat. Somebody taught me, my wife taught me, I cannot remember. Okay, Chung Kwok, the Kwok. Today, the Chung Kwok is this Kwok. I don't know this Kwok, isn't it? Like that one, the box. Huh? 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 I don't know anyway. And then the the change should be here, 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 there, and then the here this way. Then I write number three first. That is number three. Yeah, so lucky I told you guys. Huh? You all know three languages. I only know two. Lee Kok Chin. Hmm. K O K O K. Yeah, and the stupid mother is going to write Lee Kok Chin. James Bond Double O Seven. Alright, I think here today for this topic here, please understand and make sure you follow what has been written here for you to improve your English. Alright, I just mentioned newspaper. The other one, if some of you are using your social media, Facebook, read through them, it's okay. You can read through the newspaper online. Everything is done online. Alright? Thirdly, music. And fourthly, YouTube. How many of you have opened up YouTube this week? What do you do when you open up YouTube? What do you see? What do you watch? Music, movies, you? Movie, you? Music, you? Watch what? I know now. What kind of video? Watch music, watch video. I like to see. Ah, from TV you can have video, right? So they think you very so on. You don't have YouTube. You? You watch what? What do you watch? What do you? You on YouTube or not? You not on YouTube, is it? What do you watch? Oh, you play games. Very good. 
You better stop ma. Uh, if you all keep on using these computers just to play games, you better stop. I told you playing games is not wrong. Don't spend too much time on it. Understand? Go to YouTube, open up. Learn your science, learn your history. Okay? Alright, let me just conclude. Watching YouTube is another effective method to improve your English. And when I say this, go in there, open it up, learn how to speak. There's a lot of these native English tutors online. The Guaylos are there. They are the best people to teach you their language. You don't ask a Guaylo to teach you Bahasa, do you? You want to learn Mandarin from a Guaylo? You gotta yeah. be kidding me. So you learn from native speaker. Native speakers means they are the original people who have spoken English for so many years. And as I said, you don't have to sit 10 or 20. Just take one. Don't have to take the long one. Some of them 45 minutes, some half an hour. Go to the short one. Five minutes. You cannot spend five minutes to listen. Something is wrong with you. Alright? So please try to use this because many people fail to use this and use it for the wrong reason. Movies, go ahead and watch. You finish your homework, go ahead and watch. Nothing wrong with it. Alright, but as I said, if you want to improve your English, you make sure you watch English movies. Animation. Wonder Woman is up there with all these things here. Some of them are copyrighted. They are not allowed to show. And you can watch online, isn't it? Toyma? Yes. Alright, so make it a habit. I go in there almost every day. And today, I have a channel which I opened up six years ago, I think, which I put a lot of my old photos and some of the reunion I have with my other other group. And just lately, only Aaron was telling me, "Ad, hey, why don't you put all your English lessons in there? Something for you to put in." I said, "Yeah, why not?" And if today, all that I'm even now, uh, as I'm doing this video recording, please go in there, listen, because I'm speaking to you in English. And learning English is not just using your eyes; it's listening. Very important. Okay, sleep at night. I know some of you have earphones in there. Listen to music if you like. I do that at times. When I cannot sleep, five, ten minutes, make sure you take down and off it. Don't go and put the earphones inside your head. Huh? Tomorrow the earphone will inside your telling uh, come up to your nose. Isn't it? <laughs> and that's wrong. Huh? So please. And in your house, in your free time, maybe the hall, the living room, your granny is there, your father is there, they don't do it. I'm sure all of you have your own rooms at the moment. You're all grown up to him. Maybe with your sisters. Put on. If you don't believe me, you come to my house anytime my radio is on. Aaron, when he grew up, he doesn't understand my music. And I keep it on because I listen to Light and Easy. What is the FM? 105.7. Listen to this song because this song is not rapping. You can't no, learn from that. Yes. Yeah, like uh, Light Channel, 105.7. I put it on, I don't blast it. I just put it silently because the music will come together. And sometimes Bruno Mars also come in. Yeah, because it's light and easy. There's no rap, there's no rock inside. And today, if you have Astro, you know your Astro have uh, so many channels for music. 828 or 829. Right? Sometimes I'm on it. So it is good. You're doing your work, soft music. Don't go and play a ping ping pong, ping ping pong, or whatever the thing is. Alright? So you slowly, because the mind is very funny. Music, it will follow, it will go through your ears. And when you hear the words, uh, and if you like the music, you go to karaoke, you sing the song along, the music, the words will come back. And I tell you, that's what I have learned so much from just paying attention to music, or songs for that matter. You got it? You watch movie, there's music in there. You watch shows, there's music in there. Anyone have seen a show about new, no music or not? Right? So please, I hope that you all do it. Don't only go for tuition to learn and try to improve. You, you can't do that. There's no way. And I told you many times, listen to me in your free time. When you're out there, when you're at home alone or whatever it is, just spend 10-15 minutes. YouTube, make it a point. You don't have to learn English if you don't like in there. Learn your mathematics there. Short form, they teach you. All right. All these are tricks. These are people who have uploaded to share with them because they know when they leave the world, why should I keep all these good things to myself? Doima, we are all doing it. And that's the reason why I have, yes, I, I want to learn back the guitar which I stopped. So I've uploaded. 
But most important thing for you all, even now, as I keep on recording, please watch yourself. Okay, especially when you read. Alright, because these are very effective methods. Your teachers in the, in the school today are still using textbooks and whatever and writing board. You know today I stopped using board. You got to use the TV, you got to use your projector. How many of you are, have got projectors in the, in the class or in the, in, that, that your teacher shows you? Especially science, isn't it? Alright, does your teacher show you this presentation short video? Yes, the human body are downloaded. Some of it is downloaded from YouTube. Nothing wrong with it. National Geographic Discovery Channel. Every time, these are very important things for you. Alright? Yesterday, I, was, I downloaded National Geographic and suddenly this animal was running, running around. Alright? And then uh, Li Ying was telling me, Uncle, what's that? He said, hey, that looks like, a, looks like a, a badger. I said, it's not a badger, it's a raccoon. Huh? Raccoon? Ah? I know. She went into her book, take out the comic and show me. And that's how children learn. You know what's a raccoon? Wow, I didn't think that. I'm so panda bear, yeah. Panda bear, so I didn't think that. You know what's a raccoon? You see, it's standard three. They hear the word. Somebody they heard it. Quickly go and take the, the comic. Yeah. Uncle Lee, what's it good? And when she's sitting down here, I will stop. What is that animal? Hippopotamus. He will tell me. Alright? And yesterday she learned about this dog. Uncle Lee, what is that? Huh? I said, it's a hyena. And then after that, one minute later, the hyena come back. Li Keying, what is that animal? Uh, 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 uh. I said hyena. Listen to what the guy is saying. H-Y-E-N-A. And tonight, if I on it again, I see whether she remembers or not. And that's how we learn. Alright, so nice, beautiful pictures. Huh? In the wild down there, huh? tiger go and chase after this way, eat the animal here. It's nice. Beautiful pictures. Alright. Okay. Now, again, as I said, there are countless videos. What do we mean by countless? How many people know how many videos are on YouTube? There are millions, you know. There are millions of videos. As I speak, so many people uploading. Mm -hmm. Alright? Last time there was some statistics down here. So many million. They say if you can watch every every of it, maybe maybe two centuries, you, know, you still cannot finish. You are 200 years old, you still cannot finish. You understand what I mean or not? So countless video time though, who are the people who are able to do it? The people who are running YouTube. They will tell you, okay? So they give you all these numbers. There are countless videos by native speakers on how to make your English better. Here I don't use back how to improve your English. I say make it better. It's the same. Mean by not? Alright? So finally, I hope I've given you some useful tips here. Do enjoy and practice your English. The closing can be anyway. Well, I hope that you have enjoyed my talk. Another way of closing. I hope I share some good talks with you all. Continue to improve because English is the language of the world. If you want to see the world, learn English. Remember in my in my Facebook, that's what I put. If you don't want, it's okay. Nothing wrong with that. Alright? Okay, we shall aim for this section here of essay. Let me just cut that off. The next thing I want to ask you is